Hey gorgeous, so instead of sending you a video like I originally planned, I decided to send you a voice note instead because that is literally what I would do if you were my friend and I was talking to you and advising you on something and sharing some encouragement with you. So here we go. This is Catherine Zinkina in your pocket right now, one-on-one -on -one sharing a message with you. Um, I know we're down to the wire now. MBA is closing in just a couple of hours. And by the time you get this voice note in your inbox, it's we're literally down to the wire. And I know you're probably asking yourself a series of questions like, what if it doesn't work out for me? What if I can't commit to it? What if it is not what it has promised to be? What if it's too good to be true? What if I am the only one that this program doesn't work for, right? I'm sure you're asking yourself some sort of version of one of these questions. And I just wanted to come in here and share a principle that I learned long ago that has been serving me in so many beautiful ways in my life that I know will also serve you. You see the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people, which I see that as simply people who are living their dream reality and people who aren't, whatever that version of your dream reality is for you. And the people who are living their dream reality are asking themselves specific questions that are useful for their subconscious minds to find positive, encouraging, and empowering answers versus unsuccessful people or people who are not living their dream life. They're constantly asking stupid questions. Now, I'm not saying that you're stupid for asking those types of questions, but if you are constantly focused on what if it doesn't work for me or what if I'm not good enough or what if I can't commit to myself or what if I fail, then of course your unconscious mind is going to answer those questions with some sort of dumb answer that is not going to be useful to you and it will lead you down a path of focusing on the things that are not going to help you, are not going to serve you, and are not going to help you create your dream life. So instead, I want to pop in here and I just want to help you out with a couple of journaling prompts, okay? I want you to sit down with yourself as you're hovering over that enrollment button, because I know I've been there too. I have been on checkout pages before and I have totally hovered over the sign up button and found myself frozen in fear. Like I found myself frozen in inaction. And at some point I had to come to realize that not making a decision is also making a decision. Not taking action is actually taking action, but very often in the direction of the reality that I don't want to live, the reality that I don't want to create, the reality that isn't going to serve me, that isn't aligned with my future self. So here's some journaling prompts for you that I believe will help you either jump off that fence and enroll in MBA, or just get more clear on what is the most in alignment for you right now. And those questions are, number one, what if it does work for me? What if it works out better than expected? How would it feel to be on the other side of MBA? How would it feel to have done and be complete and finished with MBA? What if I am so much more powerful than I ever give myself credit for? Those are the kinds of questions that I want you to journal on. I want you to answer. See what comes through on the other side. And if it's in alignment with you, I cannot wait to welcome you inside of MBA. And for those of you who are jumping inside, I will see you on Sunday of this weekend in a live stream inside our Facebook group with our official welcome. And I cannot wait to drop module one your way next week. It's going to be so amazing, so lit. <laughs> it will literally just open you up to a world that is so much more than you could ever expect because I believe that you are so much more powerful than you think. You're so much more worthy than you think. You are more than enough. 
You are incredible, amazing. You are literally one of the universe's children or God's children or whatever it is that you believe in. And you came here on this planet for a reason. I do not believe I do not believe that you came here on this planet to not live your dream life. I believe that you do not have desires in your heart just so that they could sit there for you to ruminate upon and never ever actually act on them. I believe that you are amazing and that's what I want for you. So if you're ever struggling with those belief systems, I'm telling you MBA is where we completely rewire that for you. So don't think that you need to believe in yourself in order to get started with MBA. Get started in MBA and then you'll believe in yourself and then it's all going to skyrocket from there. With that being said, I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful night and I cannot wait to welcome you inside.